Definitive treatment is focused on relieving your symptoms and improving your quality of life beyond the conservative measures. It can range anywhere from cosmetic treatment of little spider veins all the way to treatment of bulging, ropey veins that are associated with ulceration. We often treat patients that have failed in other locales prior to coming to see us. Please realize that this is not the old-fashioned vein stripping that surgeons used to do, but rather treatment of venous insufficiency has evolved into a rather complex art of staged procedures focusing on optimizing your outcomes, minimizing risk, and controlling cost. We begin by focusing on minimizing the risks and the number of treatments in order to maximize a quality long-term outcome. There's no way to treat all of your veins that are not functioning properly in one setting. So the staged approach to treatment of veins allows us to reach the optimal goal of treating only the veins that need to be treated and allowing your body to recover function of the marginal veins, thereby minimizing how many treatments are necessary. You also have to realize that if there is a genetic component, such as inheriting this from your mom or dad, then you'll probably develop more varicose veins over time. Our goal is to minimize the chance of this and optimize your outcome. So what do we do about spider veins? Those little purple and red veins all over your legs that your grandkids call Google Maps and spider webs. Well, a lot's changed in the last five to 10 years. The old fashioned saline injections that burned and stung and sometimes caused ulcers, well that's a thing of the past. We've got a much better way of treating these unsightly veins now. It's simple, it's easy, and it's effective. What do we do? Well, we take these tiny little needles and we insert them into the veins. Through that, we'll inject a liquid or aerated solution that'll cause these veins to shrink down and disappear. Most people don't even feel the needle stick. The number of treatments varies depending on how many spider veins you have. This technique is much more successful than surface laser treatment of spider veins because the purple veins are they're, they're much deeper and bigger than what the laser can effectively get down and treat. So sclerotherapy is the best way. During the sclerotherapy, we'll use either a liquid or aerated sclerosant. The three most common ones are glycerin, sodium tetradecyl, and polydocanol. The risk associated with sclerotherapy is often minimal and can include some discoloration, bruising, matting, retained blood in some of the veins, which can very easily be removed. Allergic reaction is also possible, but very rare, as is the risk of stroke. In addition, we do ask that you don't expose the treated area to sun for at least seven to 10 days to minimize any pigmentation. Don't forget to bring your compression hose to your sclerotherapy appointment. We strongly recommend good compression socks be worn immediately after the procedure and for at least three days and three nights. We also recommend that you continue to wear them during the day for the next two to three weeks as this will significantly improve the cosmetic result that you'll have. And it may minimize the number of treatments that you need. You may experience a slight discomfort such as a aching or throbbing in the first day or two after your initial treatment. And this is really the body's just reacting to the sclerosin in the veins and beginning to close those veins down. Compression hose and walking will help improve this sensation as will anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen. Don't be alarmed by any bruising as this will go away within a week or two. However, don't expect overnight resolution of your spider veins. It's taken a long time to get there and we're going to get rid of them, but it takes time. Because remember, we're causing inflammation of the lining of the vein that leads to the vein shrinking down and being reabsorbed by the body. It doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes it takes four to six weeks and even then many folks will notice a continued improvement over the next month or two. Because of that, we rarely treat cosmetic spider veins more frequently than four weeks apart. If you develop any fever, chills, increased redness, lumps, or any other questions or problems, please don't hesitate to call. Have questions? We're here to help. Call today to schedule an appointment at 215-VEIN or visit us online at arteryandveins.com to learn more.